Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, our school was under investigation again, and this time they were interviewing students. Which, uh, we seem to have managed to, uh, get around somewhat. But it seems for the school festival, the people that, or the person that everyone wants to see is catchy, which makes uh, our lives really difficult. Anywho, in this episode, we're going to hang out with someone this evening to hopefully get our minds off that and uh, further along our progress with them. But who? Who will be the lucky gentleman or lady that we hang out with tonight? Let's go to Shinjuku. I want to see if Chihia's available. Actually, that was dumb. Because I could go to the laundromat and finish up what I need to finish up there. Waste of money. You can't do laundry if you don't have anything dirty that you need to clean, right? Oh! Really? Everything is clean? Oh, weird. Ooh! UFO vest. A vest said to be made from UFO components. How? How? Oh, whatever, what's this? Does this forget? A Keshik shirt. A shirt that taps into all recorded memories. Huh. Well, let's give that to Ryuji, I guess. A magical scarf. Plus five magic. A bright scarf worn by a shaman. Sure. All right, we got the Royal Hiyori. This dizzy. A light Aori inspired by the Valley of Kings. Actually, I think I'm gonna give that to Makoto, because I use her more. Sorry, uh, uh, Yusuke is fine with what he's got. Uh, Makoto I just gave something to. Haru, he's got the brigand. Brigadine, rather, and Futaba's got something that's better than the other thing we got, so we're good! Alright! Can't believe I didn't do that till right now, and I pressed the wrong button. Anyway! Back to Shinjuku! Alright! Are you available? You are not. Although I am curious. If this place is anything interesting and new, what do you want? Batting science. A thorough analysis of batting could help with your baseball skills. Sure, why not? Not that I need it anymore. Let's come here again later. Maybe you'll find a book that can pique your interest. Oh, hey, look at all this Halloween stuff. Neat! Anywho... <sighs> Back to Shinjuku Station. Mishima or Fumi? Or I could hang out with Aiwa. Or Ohya. What's Mishima's next thing? I haven't even bothered to look at that, actually. Let's base this on their rank and what's coming up. Fumi's at a 6. We get her at a 7 if she's ready to go, and that would give us the Narakin. Double money if a battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. Ooh, that's good. Or Mishima, who doesn't get his next ability until rank 7. Greatly increased experience in battle, but that is useful. Feel like we should hang out with Mishima, guys. If Fumi's is good, well, it's, do I value experience or money more? With money, I can make more personas, but with experience, they can get more abilities. I might as well do Hifumi first, because she's closer to the thing. That makes sense to me. You know, I really wish I could go here at some point, but there's just never been a reason for me to go there. There hasn't been a day where no one wants to hang with me at all and I have nothing to do. So... Good evening. The gold's key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. 
It's all right with you. Let's play a match. Don't think my bond with Afumi will deepen quite yet. Hmm. Uh, I'll decline for now. I see. Is that so? Please feel free to stop by again. Don't worry, Afumi. I'll probably hang out with you some other time. Oof, all this money I'm, s I'm throwing to the winds. What the hell? Hey, Mishima. <sighs> D don't worry. I didn't say a word about you guys, those dumb cops. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks! Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's super important. You think you can make some time right now? I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow stronger soon. So what will you do? You gonna, are you meeting up with Mishima? Absolutely. You're the only one I can talk to about this. We should go somewhere quiet if possible. What do you think? How about Inokashira Park? Yeah, sure. Hey! I have some great info for you. Okay. Um. It's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. Uh, you sure are fired up. No, no. Oh, only one point! Boo! Well, of course. We got a huge target on our hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. Okay. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills, he's even been in all sorts of commercials. If he managed to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to Phantom Thieves. But has he done anything wrong? He's got to be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. Mishima. We can't just attack a guy because it'll gain us popularity. That's how we had the Okumura problem. I mean, he was a bad guy, so it kind of leveled out, but... We can't just attack people because they're popular. That's not how this works. And no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. Are you sure, Mishima? I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. He needs to act on behalf of her fans. Are you sure, Mishima? Calm yourself. I am calm! And thinking about it from my calm standpoint, I believe you guys can benefit from changing his heart. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible for you guys. You think? Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I amazing produ- um, fumble. Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait. I'm gonna put the Phantom Thieves on the map. We'll practically be swimming in requests. Mishima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. Really, that's it? Man, I did horrible that run. But at least we're at rank six. All right. No ability, just burst. That's right. I'm the producer for the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Is this? Is this because of what Futaba said? Look, man, she's... I mean, she's adorable, and I love her as, like, a little sister, but come on, man. You can't let that get to you. She's, she's not great around people, you know? Hey, take out your phone. Okay. All right. I just sent you that actor's data. for that. Don't worry. This request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? Well, I mean, you've gotten us a lot of good mementos requests. I think he needs to hear something good. I feel like he's feeling really shitty and I should tell him something that he wants to hear. Absolutely. Nice job. <laughs> Only a point. Dang it, Mishima. Yeah, it's all because of me. Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me. 
and the Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one responsible for those changes. Damn it. That means I'm not a zero. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know if I found some more details. See you around. Bye. Going down a dark road, Mishima. Yeah, this is terrorism. Go, go, Detective Prince! Media's garbage as expected. Bring on the breakdowns! I August. Typical October bandwagon. 23rd PG. Sunday. Wow, that was. Blame a lot the politicians, of time. too. What does I that told detective you so. think he's doing? They need to be executed. He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? Yeah. He wants to this stand is out. Men are you deserve to die! Already. Go, go, Detective Prince! I'm curious. It seems like he is garbage, something. as expected. Bring on the found breakdown! found a really juicy secret. Typical bandwagon. GG. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? I don't think... I mean, why would she? Realistically speaking. Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. I don't think so. I think it's that it's just, you know, on a need-to-know basis. I should have checked Akibara's arcade to see if there's a new crane game thing. That was dumb of me. I just realized because I looked up at my shelf and I'm like, oh. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. And it's going to be the second place person, right? I'm considering asking a Kun. Fuck! For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous. Like dancing with a bear in a cage. But without a powerful source of intel? We won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? I mean, I guess what options do we have outside this? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. You're surprised to hear a, a bold suggestion come from the woman who drove a fucking motorcycle through a glass door to get us the fuck out of there after shit-talking a criminal to his face, both in Mementos and in the real world. Why does this surprise you? Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Hmm. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? Probably low. It's a gamble. As uh, Han Solo once said, never tell me the odds. And the odds are less than favorable. What did I just say, Makoto? I was trying to be cool and you ruined it. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kun? This should be fine. Okay, then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. I mean, he comes here to LeBlanc, I could just ask him. It would not be hard, at all. Also, sometimes I see him at the subway too, could ask him there. I mean, I'm basically our point of contact. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Oh, or that. There's a fly stuck in my room, and it's really starting to distract me. 
tried to leave the door open so they could fly out, but it stayed in here, I guess. Damn, you're real impressive. <laughs> no shit. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? Yeah. I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. No, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. I gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Ryuji, your criticism is noted. And not gonna lie, I, I am not 100% for this idea, but what choice do we have? Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. That was... Well, I don't know how long we've been waiting. He says, let me think about it. Okay. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? Well, that's why he's got to think about it. And also, I mean, is this really, air quotes, the media? He's going to a school. Unless there's going to be cameras there, he's not going to be on camera, so... That's likely why he's so hesitant. Yeah. What are we going to do if he turns us down? Then we take the second place person, I guess. I'll keep trying. Oh, right. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? Yeah, that's... Oh! Shall we do a test? The shop's open again today. I look forward to seeing you. Chia appears to be waiting for you in the red light district. You want to go see her? Yes. I'll head over right now. Okay, I look forward to seeing you. Chia, how's it going? Back me a song. Are you sure you're going to be okay? I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Um, after that ominous message, how about a verification test? Um, do you remember what happened last time? That man, Chairman Fukurai, visited me. If you have some time, can you stick around and chat for a bit? Feeling my bond with Jahia will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? Gonna hang out with Jahia? Absolutely. Um. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Alright, sure. Um. So, I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting and I wasn't completely honest with you. But I've decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san. As well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I... I already told you about how it was small and a traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? I remember that, yeah. Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered me as a messenger of God. But... When I kept predicting disasters, they started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed. A monster. So, I locked myself away. People would come by to throw stones through the windows, though. <laughs> Things went on like that for some time. Until one day, an angry mob came and burned the house down. Jesus. That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money. So I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people. That's when Fukurai-san approached me. Um... He 
He's a psychic too, you know. He was from... He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who'd just come to Tokyo. And then once I told him why I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join up with the ADP. That was when he gave me the moniker, the Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed a divine power to save others from misfortune. That I could become more than a monster people saw me as. I broke down the moment he said that. Ha ha ha! Deep down, I knew all along that the Holy Stones didn't have any power. But I thought it might be able to save I might be able to save people, even though I was a monster. Or perhaps. I was a monster. Uh. So, the truth is, I was only ever selling those holy stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person. I don't think so. You did what you had to do. Look, it sucks that you had to, like, I mean, sucker people out of money in a sense, but... What were you supposed to do? You had no other alternatives for a career path. And I mean, I'd imagine you wanted to use... Well, like you said, you wanted to use your ability to help people as you could. I don't think you're a monster. What? Three points! Hell yeah! What? My fortune said you're supposed to hate me. I like changing fate. <laughs> I never thought you would overturn even that fate, magnus son. Huh? Oh, she's blushing. I've made up my mind. You know what? I see now how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for listening to me today. If there's ever anything you need to talk about, I'd be glad to return the favor, Magnus-san. I can sense a strong resolve from Chihia. Fortune Rank 7, Affinity Reading. Deepens your bond with a confidant of your choice. Time for easy street to top of the Arcana, the confidant market. All right. I don't know how much that costs though. Rank 7, Arcana Burst, Affinity Reading. Uh, now that I think about it though, just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers, but it's really just brainwashing. Yeah, that's gonna make it hard. Brainwashing isn't exactly something you can just easily snap your fingers and change. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a Holy Stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there, even though I'm the Maiden of Relief. Um... Just who is the chairman? think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. Well, thank you again for today. They were screwing with us. I reported this website. Lol, oh, don't be fooled October so easy. 24th. Throw him in the slammer! Blame the politicians, too. Hey. You hear who we're getting for a guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why do you agree to come here? It probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't Akechi going around saying how evil they were before? No, he was saying that they weren't to be trusted, but he never outwardly said, Oh yeah, they're, they're straight up evil. He said more, they can't be trusted, and they might be evil. At least that's what it felt like to me. Like he was hoping that Phantom Thieves were just, but you know, he's going on like, nah, they, I hope they're just, but they might not be just. Oh yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow then. Hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I gonna miss the panel this year. Mm. Hmm. They just say whatever they want with no thought. For now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel.
Okay, class, let's get started. The school festival's tomorrow. Have you made all your preparations? I'm the advisor for the ESS, so I'll be busy helping them for today. What's the ESS? ESS stands for English Study Society, by the way. Oh, thank you. I was actually wondering that. We need to advertise that Chujin's a school that provides an education you can use anywhere in the world. Hey, Mr. Magnus! Huh? There are tons of three-letter acronyms like ESS in the world. I need an answer. Can you tell me what the S in SOS means? Save? Which one? There's two S's. The S in SOS, I think it's save our ship, but uh, this is why we have our handy dandy cheat sheet. The answer is, it's meaningless. That's correct. SOS often said to mean save our ship. Save our souls is another interpretation, too. But in reality, it's not an acronym of anything. It's just the simplest thing you can send in Morse code as in an emergency. If you haven't, been, uh, haven't finished preparing for the festival, though, it's too late to send an SOS now. Hey, did you know that? I have no idea. Maybe he's actually... Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to answer, be able to answer a question like that. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, even though we have a max knowledge, we're still gonna get points in knowledge. I mean, it's not gonna go up anymore. There's no rank above max. It's just, I mean, you still get the points for it. So it's gonna happen regardless. Likewise, if we like read a book that gives us knowledge, it's not gonna really do anything. But the effect will still play. Hey, you gained two or three knowledge. There you go. All right. Draco's knowledge has improved. The school festival isn't just a time for you students to goof off. It's an imp important event where we invite prospective students, PTA members, and the like to attend. Sorry about that. Anyway. This time we have a catchy song for the for a panel. There will be twice as many guests, even though it's a weekday. I'll have to spend twice as much time on my makeup tomorrow too. Be on your best behavior. Got it? Mm. School festival, huh? Is Catchy really going to be there? That's what everyone's saying. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. You're always saying that. Are you worse than Ryuji? Wish I could get in the top 10. People look at smart students differently. Wonder what score I got. I'm in the top 10! Hell yeah, it doesn't say exactly where, but hey, still top 10. Whoa, everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now, which is kind of a bad thing now that I think about it, considering your current position. But hey, three points into my chart. I believe they say you're at the top of the charts if you uh, are in max intelligence like I am when you do the test, so. All right. Hey, anyway, charm is improved. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow's the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. We just need to get Akechi to agree to this somehow. Yup. What's that bastard up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to be going to hide it. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. 
Hey, Magnus! Yeah? You, pay attention! Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Look, if you're gonna throw the chalk again, I've already dodged it. Clearly, you're not gonna hit me this time, either. Feel murderous intent. Stealthy dodge! Whoa! Oh, that was a woman. <clears throat> Whoa, that was an epic dodge! That was nuts! Is he a ninja? Well, whatever. Moving on. Oh, you got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. All right, two more charm. Still not to max, but hey, points are points. All right. Drake's charm is improved. Oh, hey, Catchy. Welcome home. Honey, <laughs> I'm home. I don't like any of these answers. <laughs> I'm gonna make a joke. Honey, I'm home. You're back awfully late. Yeah, you know, we were doing stuff. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Yeah, I mean, hey, there's one other guy in here. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. Oh, well, that's weird. I mean, I thought you both were working on the same case or something. We had a difference of opinion. Ah, gotcha. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. Sandro seems like he recognizes that guy or something, just the way he looked at him. Hmm. That man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. That voice does sound familiar, though, doesn't it? I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. I mean, maybe it's because we're on opposite sides since we are the Phantom Thieves, but I don't like him. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Standing there staring off into space for. You're creeping me out. Oh, sorry, I zoned out. Uh, it's, it's nothing. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. Right. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. So are you just shouting to the heavens, my dude? I, I mean, you know, not trying to start anything but you're just kind of shouting into the ether and no one has answered you either we're all ignoring you or we have nothing to say to you it feels like a trustworthy leader for japan has finally come forth you want a trustworthy leader check out my man yoshida i don't trust this guy don't you think boss oh okay he, oh never mind he is talking to someone well now i feel silly Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. True nature? 
If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? That's a good point. Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sakumara incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Hmm. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something special about you ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Feel like I understand it catchy a little more now. Justice! Rank 4. Alright. Justice Confidant is increased to rank 4. EXP, Arcana Burst. I don't know why I said EXP. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Yeah. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Oh, nice! Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. Yeah, ditto. I'll be going now. Well, have a good night. <sighs> that kid was going on about some really complicated stuff. He's probably a good bit smarter than you, huh? Rude? Anyway, I got peas. Oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Ikechi Kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. I already knew that. Hmm? Really? Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in in the afternoon. Oh, okay, yeah, because the day's going to be taken up with the exam, and then after that's over, I mean... They probably have half days. That makes sense. You wanna come? Oh, <clears throat> you wanna come to Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. That sounds good. Oh wait, I should have said let's not. I mean, it would be suspicious as fuck. Oh well. At a time like this, this is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Haru, um, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've always dreamed of walking around my school festival with friends. I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think we're going to end this episode here. In the next one, I guess we'll hang out with someone at night and then uh, tomorrow's school festival. See you guys then.